part three, never finding anything or a place where I felt like I fit in or that really gave me what I needed um, to stay and be committed um, up until three years ago. There's that number again, three, three years ago when my mom, mother passed away. Um, it was actually this pastor, he preached uh, a friend's funeral of mine. Um, and my friend and my mom had passed away weeks in, in part and were actually having funerals a week and a half, two weeks after one another. And I attended my friend's funeral. Uh, may he rest, may his soul and spirit rest in peace. And this minister got up and began to preach. And I was just like, never seen or set eyes on him before. Not sure if I had heard of him before or not. Um, but as he was preaching, I can just hear my spirit rejoicing. and was like, he's going to preach your mother's funeral. And I'm like, God, I don't know this man for, from anything. But I kept hearing, he's going to preach your mother's funeral. And I told my cousin who I was with, um, but once again, did know this pastor, did know what church he attended, none of that, any of that. So during, after the funeral, during that time, I had to finalize final, um, funeral arrangements for my mother. I had gotten pretty much everything out the way. The, one of the last th um, things was to now get a minister to officiate her services called my pastor at the time um who i was under the leadership with um but had not been attending service but because we grew up in that church always had that relationship with that pastor even after i had departed um he couldn't do it due to other obligations um, called a fa another family minister who would do um, funeral services, called her. Unfortunately, she couldn't do it because she would be out of town. And she was like, if I was in town, I would definitely do it for you and the family. But unfortunately, I will not be in town. Um, called another minister of ours who I grew up also under his ministry as he was the minister, the pastor over my ch at uh, the church that I attended at the time as a little girl, could not get a hold of him for anything. I tried social media. I tried contacting everyone I knew who would have his number um, and left messages after messages and like SOS, SOS, please, please could not get in touch with him. And we're like almost a week, less than a week away from my mom's services, but I need to finalize um, obituaries and everything. And the spirits say, call Pastor Connors. I was like, but God, I don't know this man. He don't know me. So I found the obituary. Um, located a number somehow. I think I searched Google search or whatnot. I left a message, um, end up finding another number, called that number as well, left a message, asked them to get back in touch with me ASAP. Um, First Lady T actually called me back um, within hours um, of making that phone call, spoke with her. Um, she was like, I'll check to see if his schedule is clear, if um, it is. We would want, of course they said they would wanna meet with me and the family. Um, to kind of find out what we wanted and all of this. So um, she called me back later that night and I had, I think I needed to finalize the obituary like just within hours of that night. Um, and she, she called back and said his schedule was open, he would be able to. I was like, okay, God, thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So I finalized the obituary. Um, ended up meeting with pastor, um, with the pastor and his wife. They came to us, met with us, um, and he agreed to do the funeral. So when I say he did he, to do the funeral, he came, 
he preached my mother's funeral. He preached that woman like he had met her himself. And he only preached her based off of what I had and the family had told him. But he preached my mama like a praying mother and her mantle. Woo! Hallelujah. Had me shouting up in my mama's funeral. Laid out on the floor. That, I mean, like he preached, he preached like he knew my mother. He had met her before in a different time. Um, so, so grateful, so grateful for, for him for that. Um, so during the time from him preaching, my, my mother's funeral, attended his church um, a few times. And then COVID hit and psh, then, you know, everybody, nobody was attending church. Um but throughout time followed him on social media, went to virtual church um, until recently. And the spirit was talking to me, was like, you need to get back in church. Knowing that for number one, that was like my mother's biggest thing was for us, to, especially me, Minister Selena, Evangelist Selena, to get back in church and minister. That was one thing she wanted to see before she passed. And that's one thing I regret that I didn't do to have her see me uh, minister one more time. Um, but um, recently I heard the spirit saying